Good morning, friends. I hope you're well. I thought we'd have some fun. I'm a recruitment expert and I'm going to be on Reddit answering some of these questions or we're going to have a good laugh reading them through. So we're on three, I think they're called boards. So this one's forward slash recruiting hell. Another one's recruiting and another one is recruitment agencies. This video might be a little slow because I haven't read any of these, but I think we'll have a little laugh. So this is the top one at the moment. The background is not impressive. Regret to inform you, we're pursuing other candidates. Your salary above 60K isn't what we're looking for. Okay, so he got rejected. He's not happy. This other one, the screening question is expected to take around 60 minutes. Provide an opportunity to showcase your skills. Please take availability and etc. See, that that is a problem. Like You shouldn't really put candidates off. It might not take 60 minutes. It might be 30 minutes in that regards. Again, this is one that's applying for a job expectations reality. That's true. This is another problem with going through the candidate experience is so, so bad in regards to, you know, things laying out. So this is obviously this is that's insulting to IT techs. <laughs> How could you send that out? Twenty six dollars an hour. Yeah, that probably is very low for Washington as well. Um, I mean, this is very sloppy. Like, hello, there's not even a name on this. Please go through the below. But there's a double gap there. So he's probably meant to pass something in. So this is sloppy. Demonstrate your skills. Yeah, this is just copy co copy and paste, cookie cutter. This is, this is very bad. Like, I if I knew someone that was sending this out, I'd say, look, you're killing yourself. This is a really bad candidate experience. This is for client Randstad in capital letters the client Amtrak this is like I don't know what to say anyway so that's your level of competition anyway if you're looking for a serious job yeah, that's okay okay this one's a bit boring let's try and answer some questions on here to recruiters why would you get why would you ghost the candidate after reaffirming them that they're getting the job <laughs> I gotta read this one it's been two weeks since my final interview and I've not heard from a recruiter <laughs> you didn't get the job. <laughs> it's not the recruiter's fault. It's the hiring managers. Never put it on the hiring manager. It is likely to be the hiring managers. Manager. Not the recruiter. I didn't read it all. I can't be bothered. We don't want to hear your life story. But that's hopefully you're going to answer some questions. Resume search cancelled yeah i don't want to hear it i'm a high volume recruiter for a beverage company so they're internal recently my new role and career field so i'm learning something new every day why is someone new being hired uh, in that where's your team leader i recently scheduled interviews for general labor despite sending a generic disqualification email they started select they weren't selected i decided to call the candidate that's good very good in fact excellent so he called the candidate. They didn't get the job. He sent a generic email. That's what candidates ask for. The candidates already had uh, a day where they were seeking a second job. Following the hiring manager's feedback, I mentioned that the hiring manager found the candidate to be overqualified for a previous position, blah, blah, blah. Upon speaking with the hiring manager, I realized that they had been very vague feedback, their suggestions. Given the scenario, what would you suggest following up for the candidate and how would approach it best? So this is very typical. We often get... The hiring manager doesn't give us any feedback. A client of ours doesn't give us any feedback. So what then happens is the candidate assumes we've got all the feedback in the world and we just send a generic email out. Or we just say, look, you haven't been selected. There's been stronger candidates. Because that's what we've been told. We can't lie just in case you call the company and we can't put words in their mouth. So this is very true and a very good question, in fact. And the truth is you can't lie because, again, you're putting words in their mouth. So... As long as you don't lie, as long as you don't lie, don't lie, you will be fine. That's pretty much it. There's nothing else you can say. There's nothing more lies you can do. Let's try this board now quickly. Appointment scheduling, sir. No, we don't hear it. Business development. Hi, I'm working as a business development manager. Can you guys let us know how to convert some deals for my company? My company is into recruiting consultancy. My company is into recruiting. And I tie up companies for recruitment. 
So does he work for uh, Code Email? <laughs> Good. I can tell you why you ain't closing no deals, my friend. Fucking written English like that. Biggest staff in entrepreneur culture in the UK or the US? UK, I'm commenting already. I don't even need to read it. Oh, God. UK. Why do some of the recruitment agencies are created by young people, but not in the US? This is true. I've seen recruiters in the UK that say two years at an agency, open shop and make placements. You don't need two years. You need... You don't even need to work in an agency. However, in the US, it doesn't seem to be a strong character. Yeah, USA is a bit of a different market. You kind of have to be a bit more, takes time to win clients. But when you do, it's more money. So it's easier to sort of get in. And US recruiters tend to hire internally. They have bigger budgets and they cost save based on that. And as recruiters, I wanted to shed some light and help look, help you look into some Great, great. Word. Let's have a look. Let's see if this guy knows. First up, let's take the distinct between contingency. Okay, yeah, boring. We know that. Hey, hi, Buzz. Get to the point, mate. Let's not forget the retainers. Top notch. Oh, we don't want to read your blog. Yeah, he's waffling. Nothing to see here. Come on, where's the good stuff? God, these guys are spamming everywhere. The fast page person I said, striking the right balance between quick action. Careful to. Oh, God. What's the best resume you've ever seen? I got out of the office early morning. I was cancelled on board. I've seen a shift making capes and resume. Kid is the best proper challenge. You can find a better one. Should we click it? Am I going to get a virus? No. Scroll down the mouse or the keyboard. No, this is so good. But he's a chef. Oh, no, he's a graphics website kind of guy. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Doesn't wow me. Let's go back to this one. UK recruiters, how much are you earning? This is another interesting one. I'm the top biller in a small agency. I work, I earn 40k commission. And you're a top biller. There's no billers in your company. <laughs> I know the IT market dip. 40k, is that take home? I earned, earned, it should be, 40k commission in 2020. And 20k. So let's assume this guy's on 10%. He built 200K. Not bad. Not bad, but top biller, 200. I don't know. Basically, he's the only bidder. I wonder if I can make more money in uh, legal construction. See, no one knows what they're doing. It's legal construction, that's all that comes up. IT, like you're looking in the wrong places. I don't have much experience in other recruitment firms. I don't know. Much. If you're a top biller, I used to say... When I worked for other people, and I'm a top biller, I used to say, I can recruit anything, and I did. I wouldn't be like, okay, I'm an IT recruiter. If someone said, yeah, we've got these, uh, I don't know, HR positions, of course I can feel that. I can feel your difficult roles. I can feel your easy role. I do that for all my clients. So I'd be naturally filling other roles. So he's not really a top biller with that. About your billings, the number is pretty irrelevant. Correct. In my opinion, salary, etc. Large agencies, 25 billings small agency up now we don't know if they've been given positions get good that's my comment and let's see if we can find one more little gem and then we'll move on nobody ever reaches out that's good agencies recruitments recruiters who went old and <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently an agency think recruiter and thinking of a career growth. Shrink if you're going to move into internal. You're shrinking. Many internal recruiters, agencies, which I have. Yeah, if if you don't like or commission or can't make it go internal. That's my comment to you. Good luck. I know it's a very difficult time. It's not different. Yeah, it's easier. There's no client to manage. You just got to get 
fucking internal recruiters. People can ringing you. Oh, I want to work for your company. All the takers, they're called. If someone has done this, look. <coughs> Excuse me. Look, this guy waffling. He's a crap recruiter, agency recruiter. He's trying to get an easy way out because he wants to hide. He doesn't make no sales. That's the bottom line with this. So Reddit is quite interesting. Full of waffle, as all it is. There's nothing else on here. Just pure dribble. People crying that they didn't get a job. Yeah. Look, I've been out of work since November. Recruiters are bad. I hate how powerless I am. God bless these people, but they take, need to take a hard look in the mirror and see. Nine times out of ten was offered, that's a right salary for administrative. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> probably a scam from a Gmail account. Come on, use your bloody brain. Like, Look, the thing is, you are paid the market value of what someone will pay for you if they have a vacancy. It is a labour market. It's a market. The market dictates the pricing. I used to complain all the time when I was looking for a job and no one gave me a job because I was bloody useless. I wasn't fit for the job. I probably could have done it, but it was someone that had less risk. Until you own a business, you won't know what it's like. So you can't complain. It's tough out there. We have the lowest number of unemployment probably in recorded history at the moment, believe it or not. So that means everyone that is in work wants to work. And there is a high number of people starting their own jobs and businesses with that. So my advice to you would be upskill. Volunteer would probably be the best way into a place you want to work at. Oh, I don't want to work for free. Well, what are you doing now? You're not earning anything now. So stop complaining. If you go in and volunteer, I guarantee call up five companies and say, look, I want to come down. If you like what you see, you can interview me. Yeah, you're ahead of everyone else. Just that will pique someone's entrepreneurial spirit and be like, wow, I wish more people were like him or her. So that's all you need to do. If you need help, comment below. Hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it. Let's read it all of these wafflers. <laughs>